Hi everyone, thanks for watching today. This is my new puppy, Louie. Uh, we got him on Monday and I wanted to show him to you all. Look how cute he is. Say hi, Louie. He's a Vishla, which is like a racing kind of hunting dog. So we're really excited to have him. I thought I hated dogs before this, but then I got him and look how cute he is. I mean, seriously. Really? Today I am doing a tutorial for you um, for this look that I have on right now. It's my get ready for work with me look let's get started. The only thing I have on my face at this point is just some BB cream. So here I'm going to apply my eyelid primer and I'm using Urban Decay Original. Next I'm going to prime my entire face with my Bare Minerals Prime Time Primer in the color Fair and I'm going to apply that all over my face. Here I just applied CoverGirl concealer under my eyes and around my nose and I am blending that in with a small stipple brush by e.l.f. because that gives you a really nice airbrushed look. Next I'm using one of my all-time favorites which is the Well Rested Concealer by Bare Minerals and I'm applying it with their concealer brush around my eyes and under my nose foundation I'm using Bare Minerals foundation in Fairly Light. Just apply that all over my face as well. And I'm going to be sure to blend that in really well, especially over the areas of my face that are more oily like the T section. When I use Bare Minerals foundation I'm always going to cover it up with a mineral veil and I love their tinted mineral veil because it warms up your face nicely and gives you that nice matte appearance. Next I'm going to add my first layer of bronzer for this look and I'm just going to work that into the hollows of my cheeks, on my nose a little bit, around my hairline, and down on my neck as well. For the fun part, I'm taking just a brown eyeshadow that I have from Bare Minerals, and you can really use any brown eyeshadow that you have. Um, and it, you just want to make sure that it's not super shimmery, um, just a matte kind of brownish color. And I'm going to contour out my cheekbones using that. I think for uh, work, we as women want to look fierce, but we don't want to look masculine. So I think this is a really pretty, nice way to chisel out your face a little bit and look more mature. This eyeshadow is definitely, you know, a little bit firmer to work with, so I'm having to blend it in a whole lot, and I'm just using kind of a shorter brush that's a little bit firm to really work that in. Now I'm going back with my bronzer for a second time because the brown color that I chose was a little bit ashy, and so I wanted to add some warmth to it a second time and really blend that in. is done I'm going to add my blush and the color that I'm using is called first class class and it's by bare minerals Product that I'm going to use on my face is my e.l.f. Highlighter Concealer Duo. I'm just adding the highlighter. I'm not using the concealer. I'm just putting that you know, along the tops of my cheekbones there. Then I'm going to take that stipple brush by e.l.f. and I'm just going to pat that in. Because I've already put on all of my foundation and everything, I don't want that to get brushed away at all, so I'm really just going to pat this product in nicely. that I'm really excited about because I just got my Urban Decay Naked number no. 3 palette last week and um, I love it so much. The colors are super pretty. You can 
use them for work like we're doing in this video. I think these mauvey pinks, lavenders-ish hues sort of look really professional and really mature and just so lovely. Um, this first color that I'm using all over my lid is called Nooner and you're just gonna really get that all over your lid and into your crease. And I'm using actually the brush that came with the palette, which is awesome because sometimes the brushes that come with these palettes really stink. This palette was on the pricier side. It's about $55 at Ulta, so you may or may not wanna invest in that, but I love it and I recommend it. This next color I'm doing all in my crease is called Factory and it is sort of a cafe color that's almost got a little bit of a purpley hue, just very, very slightly. So I'm working that into the crease and I'm gonna blend it up over my brow bone here in a minute just to really get that smoothed out. I don't want any harsh edges. white hue on the palette called Strange. Weird name, right? Um, and that's going to go all over my brow bone just to soften this a little bit. You, you know, when you go to work, you don't necessarily want a super dark eye. Um, so I'm going to soften it with this white color. Next, I'm taking the shade called Burnout. Um, it's kind of a mauve pink with a slight shimmer, and I'm just going to pack that on to my lid over the existing color to give it a little bit more of a sheen. Now I'm taking the color dark side on my palette and I am going to place that just under my eye, under my waterline with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to kind of blend that out under my eye a little bit. I'm not going all the way into the tear duct just under the waterline towards the outsides of my eyes to give it a little bit of definition and just sort of make my eyes stand out a little bit more. Next I'm using the shade called Trick and it's sort of almost a burnt orange color with a little bit of a shimmer in it and I'm going to put that in my tear duct because I really like that area to be sort of shimmery and I'm using the smaller end of the brush that comes with it. Normally Urban Decay brushes are about $20 a piece so the fact that there's essentially two that comes with this palette really only makes the palette about $35 which is pretty cool. We made it to eyeliner and I'm going to use my NYX gel liner and smudger in the color dark brown and I'm going to use an angle brush. I have no idea where I got this brush but it's sort of a larger angle brush. I'm just going to pat it in right on my lash line there. I'm not going to go into my waterline at all. I'm just going to smudge it around with my finger to get it nice and smooth and I'm going to do the other eye now. bottom is done I'm gonna to go to the top and I'm not gonna to be too shy with this so it's gonna be a relatively thick line and I'm gonna go pretty much all the way in with my liner and I'm gonna make just a slight wing um, just a little bit just to thicken it up on the outer corner there smaller angle brush by Sigma. It's the E65 brush that I use all the time and I'm gonna get this closer in towards my tear duct on the top just to connect it a little bit. I need something more precise to do that so I'm gonna blend that in with the eyeliner that I've already applied. Now 
Now I'm going to pick up my Naked palette again and I'm going to go back to the color Factory and I'm going to use just a fluffy brush and I'm going to brush that over the eyeliner to give it a nice sheen and sort of smooth it out a little bit, smoke it out so that it's not so harsh. I like it to look a little bit softer and more blended for work especially. Finally, we've made it to lashes. I'm going to use my iHeart Extreme Lashes by Essence for this look. And I'm going to do top and bottom lashes and then I'm going to fill in my brows, which I've shown you a few times now. So if you have any questions about that, you can refer to my blog. For the lips, I'm going to apply Nude Love by Essence, which I use all the time, but I don't want it to be that nude. So on top of that, I'm also going to apply this Sugar Plum Chapstick by Fresh, which I'm kind of obsessed with. Like, it is so moisturizing and so soft. I would highly, highly recommend any of these chapsticks. It comes in a bunch of different colors. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments section below. Also, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.